got a question for you guys here. I have a piece of paper. It is a basic eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. I got a question for you about this paper. Can I cut a hole in this paper big enough that you could crawl through it? No. Don't think so? Don't think so. Maybe? Think I could do that? Let's see. Stand up. Let's see who is tallest. Oh, you're all about the same size. So <laughs> <laughs> Who's the oldest? Uh, we can fit through you. <laughs> <laughs> we can step through. We can fit through you. Okay, step out. You knew it was possible, right? <laughs> Have you done something like that? I made it before school. Cool. I did, it took me a long time to learn this trick. <laughs> <laughs> this trick. So, because you are smart. Okay, you guys can sit down. So, the thing is, Jesus was having a conversation with a guy named Nicodemus in today's gospel reading, and he was talking about God. And there were a lot of things about God that seemed really hard to believe. Even harder than could I make a hole in this paper big enough that you could you could fit through. And Jesus said, you know what? God is so big and so complex and, and God is, is so great in our lives that God can do a lot of things in our world and in our lives that we don't initially think maybe are possible. But just because we can't imagine how it could happen, God can still do really important, incredible and, and big things in our lives that are even beyond our imagination. So I always think about that when I think about this trick. All right? So let's, say, let's hold hands and we'll say a prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for being in our lives. Thank you for being in our lives and doing great things. And doing great things. Help us to remember your presence. Help us to remember your presence.